Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading. It is for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it is from the 5th to the 11th of April 2021 so I hope you're well. So Cancer, yeah this has been an interesting one this week because I tried for two days to do your reading and you know by now, I mean, I don't know if some of you know, but, you know, I do, it's not just about reading the cards with me, I do actually download messages. I don't see images, but I, I download a lot of messages. So it feels in this energy that it's, it feels good today. For some reason, whatever the reason, I don't know whether something has happened with you in the last day or two, and there needed to be a pause before you got this message. And it's interesting, that's a very clear message that I'm getting. It's all about timing this week of you receiving this message, which is interesting. So let's see what we've got. I'm also a Cancer rising, so I do feel your energy very strongly. So what do we have for Cancer, please? Oh, okay. Angel assistance, we have angel assistance. That is the card, you're being assisted by divine energy and I love the rainbow on there and that it's beautiful okay what do we have angels what is the message for cancer message for cancer 5th to the 11th of April 2021 I am releasing these videos a little bit early because obviously we've got Easter coming up what do we have for cancer okay oh not the right time I did talk about timing didn't I <laughs> <laughs> and you know cancer it might well be it's interesting let's see how we go for this reading <laughs> it feels clear but it's almost like you're being told something something don't do something um interesting something's happened and this will be very specific to something that's happened in the last two days and that's all I can say because that's a really clear message that I'm getting so it, it definitely feels in this energy you're being assistance but so, you're being assisted don't worry you're going to see the rainbow I'm definitely getting the energy but something's not the right time okay so I'm going to pull three cards let's see what we get cancer what do we have for you what is the message for cancer I've got three cards here Knight of Wands, Two of Swords, and the Seven of Cups. Seven of Pentacles is the advice from Spirit and your outcome. The Two of Wands. Okay, message for Cancer, please, Angel Spirits, guys. Message for our lovely Cancerians, thank you. 5th to the 11th of April 2021, can we clarify the cards on the table? What is the message for Cancer? So we have the Queen of Wands. The Lovers. Okay, and I have the Four of Wands here in the near future outcome. Bottom of the deck is the High Priestess. <laughs> yeah. It's interesting. I had a similar message for Libra, I think. I think it was this week or last week. I'm losing track of the days, to be honest, at the moment, especially when I'm in this energy. But it feels for some of you that it's not the right time to take action towards something. To make a decision if you're thinking about making a decision there's a message of you don't have full clarity don't act impulsively we've got the card of aries and um, here with the queen of wands uh, she's in the challenge position here uh, it could be to do with your challenge with an aries i mean it might well be you know she is um, male or female energy, it might well be also the energy of the Queen of Wands, which is a card of somebody who takes intuitive action. So this is about trusting your intuition to act when the time is right, which is interesting, because obviously the Knight of, of Wands is somebody who will just be 
acting impulsively uh, can be an element of, can, because he hasn't mastered the element completely like the Queen has there can be an element of, of I'm acting impulsively you know fire on fire energy here I'm all fired up and I've just got rash action so it definitely feels in this situation there is avoid some impulsive rash action here an interesting and challenge position. It's kind of like uh, less haste, more speed. Is, is that the, I can't remember what the saying is, but it's something along those lines here, Cancer. Because again, the two of swords is, and, and the seven of cups, I mean, these are confusing energies. These are energies where you don't have full clarity in how to move forward, in to make it, and it feels to do with an important decision here, Cancer, I have to say. So you're being assisted by angel spirits guides and you will get full clarity. You know, the, the two of swords is the moon in Libra. It's interesting because Libra is the house of relationships. And I feel for some of you, this might be to do with a relationship here. But it, it feels in this situation, you know, this energy, the two of swords in the challenge position, it is indecision. I don't have the clarity. You don't make decisions like this. You don't take rash action when you're confused you know when you don't have the clarity you need so she is all about you trust your intuition when the time is right to act and and not before and that is the message it won't resonate with everybody um but that's definitely the message that you need to to have the 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 message here that we've got with the advice from spirit is Somebody is taking stock and it feels to do with a relationship. Now, interestingly enough, this is Archangel Raphael, which is um, God's healer, also to do with health, health and healing. It feels that uh, there's, a, there's a, con a relationship that you spent considerable time with, put considerable effort into. Um, it doesn't feel like it's something of a few weeks. It feels like this would be, you know, years in, in terms of a relationship. Um, it, it feels in this situation you're taking stock, but you've put so much time and energy and it has been of value to you. You've come to this kind of like point where you're wondering if it's for you or not. Um, interestingly enough, the Seven of Pentacles can be a card of perseverance. It can also be a card of using your time wisely. In this energy, yes, it feels like you've been tested here. And yes, there is a, a choice to make. But it, it definitely feels that give yourself time and space to consider all options right now. Um, take serious stock, take your time, it's Saturnian energy. Because of what's of value to you and what's not now, how you move forward. Because the lover's card can be to do with a decision. But it feels like you really need to take, to take time to, 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 to take stock of what's of value to you what's not do you see this you know long-term sustainability or you know it's, it's one of those things it feels in this situation there's just an element of just take your time during this testing period and really listen to your intuition because your intuition will guide the decision and there will be a point where you do get clarity in how you want to move forward and that's when you will make the decision or choice that's right for you this is making choices about your future so it definitely feels in this situation it's to do with the happy home card uh, a relationship I mean this can be to do with family yeah happy home it definitely feels to do with some kind of committed relationship here It, it definitely feels in this situation, Cancer, you're making a choice or a decision on whether you can restore harmony in this relationship or not as well, because there is an element of harmony with this. I'm definitely getting the energy of just bide your time and things will become clear in how you need to take action, because this is somebody who is ready. You know, I'm ready. I'm clear. I'm intuitive, intuitively clear, very much like this Queen of Wands in how I need to move forward. But there's definitely an energy of you are being assisted. You will see that rainbow. I love the rainbow. 
Uh, it really is standing out very strongly for me. So it definitely feels in this energy, you will see the way forward to happiness. But again, there is a message of just wait before making this decision. Give it time. Okay, so definite energy that I'm getting here, Cancer. It's interesting. I've got the Queen of Wands at the bottom of this deck as well. Yeah, you intuit, you trust your intuition to take action. That's what she does. Oh my goodness, I've just cut the deck. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, Cancer. I think I'm going to leave it there because, to be honest, it's the message that they want me to give you. So it's obviously resonating for somebody. And it's almost kind of like, and I think in the last day or two, maybe some of you have been thinking, right, I'm just going to make a decision on this. And the message is, you haven't got full clarity yet. Um, don't act rashly because you might regret it. Okay, so final message for Cancer. Hmm. Interesting, I've got new beginnings. This very, I think, I feel it is to do with a new beginning, either wiping the slate clean or healing, you know, putting your energy back into a relationship, or, you know, there's definitely an energy of maybe going your own way. But intuitively, it feels like you're at that crossroads um, and you will be in the near future where you're ready and empowered to make a decision. But it feels in this situation, it's just not time yet. We have. New beginnings, this fairy godmother heralds the joyous news of a new baby or the birth of a cherished idea. Protect and nurture your idea as you would a baby. That's lovely. Um, yeah, I definitely get this energy of just making some clear choices here. But yeah, do it when it feels right. And your intuition is your immediate instinct and it stays with you. You know, it stays with you. Your your intuition is not something, your gut instinct is not something that just fades and is replaced by a different perspective. It stays with you, your instincts. So I would say trust your instincts in this situation because you're definitely being assisted. And our intuition is how God, the universe, angel, spirits, guides help us. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you, Cancer, and I will see you next time. Thank you.